Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Jared Gunston TV on my GT1000 Core series. Uh, the series designed to help all the newcomers onto this pedal um, a basic understanding. Um, so we've gone from the input all the way through the effects, uh, chain, amplifiers, EQs, you know, we've done a lot. And I've recently been asked for a little bit of assistance on how do you connect an external pedal. In today's video, we are going to connect both an EV5 style expression pedal as well as a FS6. This looks a little something like this. You may have seen these before. First thing you have to do is along the side over here, you've got expression two. And along the top, you have got expression number one. Okay, stereo connector, but if you buy an EV5, the wire is already attached. We connected, and now you're probably thinking, okay, cool, so how, why is nothing working? Simple. Uh, first things first, let's go into menu. We're going to control sign, function, and now here is your patch down, patch up, Control one, we're not interested in that. Control two and three, four and five, that would be via two or one FS6 pedals. Expression one, which was at the, at the back there, or expression two, which is this one on the side here. So we're gonna go with expression number two. It is set to foot volume slash pedal effects. Uh, other options include foot volume, pedal effects, foot volume and tuner, foot volume, tuner and pedal effects. So you figure out what is best. I'm gonna leave it on, uh, I'm gonna leave it on foot volume and pedal effects. Well, let's actually have a look. If we go foot volume and tuner, let's see what happens. Go into our effects chain, and we go all the way back. There's our foot volume, 100. You can see it moving over there. Be sure to set your minimum and maximum and the curve type that you like. And if we bring this back, tuner. Foot volume, tuner. That is pretty cool for this kind of a device. Um, you know, I'm not a fan of pressing two buttons. Anyway, that is that. Uh, let's go back into menu, control assign, control function. What are our other choices? Foot volume, tuner, and pedal effects. Not quite sure where you would need that many. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Okay, so foot volume is pretty self-explanatory. In your effects chain, you've got a foot volume and it just mimics the position. You want to um, use the foot volume before your amplifier Keep in mind that's going to affect the way your gain sounds. So it's gonna it's gonna slowly fade it up as if you were dialing up your guitar volume. Uh, if it was me, I would rather have it because then I've got control over the level of my amps and I like the way the gain of my amps sounds. Okay, so menu, control, control function, pedal effects. Now we go back to our, um, our effects chain. Now let's go find pedal effects. There, P effects. And it's currently on a wall pedal position. You can see it following the pedal position there. Now, you're gonna wanna have a wall, but you're not gonna wanna waste a control button. So what I recommend doing is leaving your foot volume off. So this patch is on maximum volume at all times. Now we go wall type, wall. Press and hold on the first, and this will apply to any effects that you press and hold on the first uh, piece of information. Okay, now you can see it's already loaded it up. Pedal effects type, no we don't want that. So we're gonna scroll to the left. Pedal effects on and off. Turn it on, scroll to the right. We want it momentary. We want it from expression pedal number two. 
and here's the important part. So it's going to be off at position zero, but we want it to turn on pretty much as soon as you touch that pedal. So that's that. Okay, so we go back into effect. Now watch that dial there at the beginning, that ach not dial, that block there as soon as I touch this. On, wall happens, wall coming down and back. You can watch the pedal position there. As soon as it hits one, it turns on. And as soon as it hits zero, it's off. Now that will apply to anything, um, any uh, parameter that you want to adjust, like if you had to go through your effects and make it rate or, let's even do that just for this. Press and hold on rate. Okay, there it is. There's one thing that Boss needs to look at, is putting, once I press and hold, the thing that I'm on, it needs to put it up at the most available slot at the top. It does that on the GT1000. Okay, so we turn it on, min, max, 100. We do expression pedal two, momentary. And in this case, we go naught to 127. And why do we do that, not naught to one? Um, because what's happening is as we're pressing this, the rate is going to increase. And then just the same way that we did the pedal effects, if we wanted to turn on and off, press and hold. Effects, effects one on off, there we go. Page to the right, expression pedal two, momentary. And this is the one where you go zero and one. Why? Because this is turning it on and off. So if you watch there next to pedal effects now, both turn on, both off, both on. And that's how to use this type of expression pedal with the GT1000 core. All right, but now, what if that's not the kind of vibe you're going for? You're more into an on-off switch kind of guy. We're going to unplug the expression pedal and we're going to replace it with one of these. You now need a stereo cable. Why stereo? Because you've got two different buttons which means it requires two different lines. You get um, polarity, you get mode, which is FS5, which is momentary, or FS5L, which is latch. You get A, B, and then A and B. So I've got them all set to the left, which is momentary. You know, I'm gonna plug the cable in the middle. Get in the back at control two and three. All right, so well, um, most guys are gonna go for one of these first because they're gonna feel that kind of one control is not enough. Let me move this up a little. They're gonna feel that one control button is not enough and you know, for, for example, in this patch, this goes between my lead and clean channel. So let's do something simple. Let's say I now want this to become my tuner and this to become my master or one of my delays on and off. It's exactly the same process. We're gonna go into control sign, control function. And now we are on control two and three. So we need to turn these off. You just press in and scroll anti-clockwise. Okay, so now we got blank. And remember a system uh, that applies to expression pedals as well. These ones are set to patch. It's probably recommended to set these to patch as well. Um, I just leave everything on system because I'm trying to get as close to a uh, pedal board type. So now, control number two, which for some reason on these pedals are the other way around. So we want this to be tuner, so that's gonna be control number three. 
we'll just scroll down until we find it. There we go, tuna. Just make sure that there's nothing in our assigns menu. There's a whole bunch of control two stuff here. Turn that all off. So there's nothing in our assigns except the one that we put in over there. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's correct. Because like I said, I wanted this one to be my tuner. So this isn't control two, this is control three. So now I'm gonna want this to be, uh, let's see what's in my, in my effect chain. Let's just for argument's sake, make it delay number four on and off. Same thing we learned. We press and hold on the very first value in whatever effect we're on. It pulls it in there, delay number four and then just scroll one to the left, or anti-clockwise. Delay for on and off, turn it on. Page to the right, and now we want this to be control number three. No, sorry, control number two, because what visually looks like one, two, three, is actually one, three, two. Not sure why. <laughs> so control two is going to be toggle, not momentary. 127 and that is on so if we go into our effect chain that's the block over there there's our delay on and off tuner and clean and distortion channels are being switched there you can get really creative with it with using momentary switches for uh, like for example a feedbacker you would maybe want to make one of these switches momentary and you turn that on as the momentary trigger for the feedbacker so you just pull in that harmonic feedback as you feel and that's sort of it man I'm definitely enjoying playing along playing with my GT1000 core um, I'm a big fan of the GT1000 sound and it's nice to be able to get such a big sound. Currently doing some tone matching. So let me know in the suggestions if you, if you can find a piece of audio where it's like a mic on a guitar cabinet and you really like that tone, try, try uh, send me some links and I'll, and I'm gonna try and work on a, maybe a weekly um, tone capture, not capture, but tone matching video series. Anyway, any questions, you leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.